Hi, Paul here from Photogenius. In today's short video, I'm going to talk about how you set up and use remote devices on your digital SLR camera. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use remote devices like this on your digital SLR camera. We're going to specifically be looking at the Nikon and Canon cameras, but if you've got a different camera make, it's still worth checking out this video because we are finding that regardless of what camera you've got, the setup procedure is pretty much the same. So why a remote? Well, a remote device allows me to activate the camera shutter without actually touching it. So I can put this camera on a tripod, I can stand away, press the button here, which is the same as pressing the shutter button on the top of the camera. The big difference being I'm not actually touching the camera. And the reason the camera would be on a tripod in the first place is to keep it steady. I'm trying to minimize vibration and movement, which can cause a blurry picture. So for example, if I'm taking pictures in poor light or more likely at nighttime, I'm almost certainly going to be using a slow shutter speed. So the camera is on a tripod to keep it steady. Using a remote device means I don't need to touch the camera. I can activate the camera remotely and get a nice sharp image. So let's start by taking a look at the Nikon first. This is the Nikon D3400 and we begin by locating the release mode button which is at the bottom right of the camera here. Push the button and you'll see a few different options will appear. Usually by default this camera will be set to the S which is single frame. Using the little joystick on the back of the camera I can select from the different options and the first one we're going to look at is the delayed remote mode. Once you've selected it, press the OK button in the middle of the wheel. To take a picture in this mode, put the remote around the front of the camera, press the button, and note the delay of two seconds before the camera actually takes the picture. We're now gonna look at the second option. Once again, we press the release mode button, bottom right, and we're now gonna move over to this option here, which is quick response remote. Once again, pressing the OK button to lock in the setting. In this mode, once again, we put the remote around the front of the camera. The difference being when you press the remote button, the camera instantly takes a photo. Setting up the Canon camera is much like the Nikon. Here we have a Canon 80D. And once you've located the drive or release mode button, here are your options. Again, the default is always single shot. And we're going to use the little joystick here to navigate over to this, which is the self timer or remote option. Press set to set the mode. In this mode, just like the Nikon, we put the remote around the front of the camera, press the button, and the camera instantly takes a picture. The next option on the Canon is remote with two second delay. So when you press the remote button, there is a two second delay before the camera takes your picture. Note the Canon remote also has a switch on the back. Position number two gives you a two second delay and the other position allows you to instantly take a picture. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Now I would like to know what would you like to see in the next video? Maybe there's a specific camera feature that you're not sure about. Maybe you're interested in learning more about lenses or accessories that you can buy for your camera. Please post your comments and suggestions down below. As usual, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya.